I'm Stan. I'm a bass player. Lately, I've been really irritated at concerts. I'm not talking about rock concerts. I'm not talking about concerts that are in an amphitheater outside. I'm talking about concerts where you're in an auditorium at a school and it's a bunch of high school kids or a bunch of middle school kids playing band instruments or singing in choirs or playing in orchestras. And I'm going to a concert to watch them and to listen to them. But I'm getting irritated by just all the other stuff that's happening at this concert with all the other people that are there. So I decided to make a video that could get this off my chest because I feel like it isn't that hard to have good concert etiquette. So let's talk first about concert etiquette. Concert etiquette simply is be polite to the people around you. Be polite. Don't mess up the concert by making a bunch of noise or by kicking the seat behind you or doing anything that ruins the concert for anyone else. Just think to yourself, I'm here to watch this music and to listen to this music and what can I do to enjoy this without ruining it for everyone else because I am so tired of going to other concerts where it gets ruined by these people who are just inconsiderate about everyone else. What follows are a bunch of people who talk about their experiences at concerts and they are all imbeciles. So do not do what they do. Learn from their bad examples so that you don't mess up the concert for other people like me. Name's Reg. I remember one time I was at a concert. My daughter was playing clarinet. They stopped and I wondered, I think it's over. I think it's over. I wasn't sure, but I, th I thought it was over. So I started clapping and I was like, oh man, my little girl, that was great. But I was the only one who clapped. And then they kept playing. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> My name is Jason. Jason with a C. Sometimes when I'm at concerts, I, I, I just have to get something out of my pocket. Or my wallet. Or a bag. And just, sometimes I just, I, I have to shuffle around things. And just look for stuff. I mean, it's, it's okay, they're not doing anything that I have to watch, right? 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 It's okay. I, I don't have to have my eyes glued to the stage. I can just find what I need to find. And if it makes a little noise, that's okay. It's just a concert of middle school kids. Does it really matter that much? Hi, my name is Buck. So, uh, I've got a lot of brothers and sisters, and... I bring them with me everywhere. There's sometimes where they're just so loud. They just run around. And there's not much I can do. I just let them do what they do. What can I do? What can I do? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I can't do anything. What's up? I'm Jeremy. Sometimes I just like to eat when I'm at a concert. I just like to get up some food, and just eat. And if I burp, it's okay. Doesn't matter. Smell doesn't matter. I just like to eat. Eat. So, uh, the name's Danny. <laughs> so, uh, one time, I went to my brother's concert. <laughs> he was playing cello in the concert. And uh, I got all my buddies. We sat in the back. And at the end of each piece, we stood up really tall. We were like, Yeah! Johnny! Oh, it was awesome, man. Everyone looked back. They're just like, what are you doing? Oh, people are so stiff at concerts, dude. Why? Oh, man, just have some fun. Hi, oh, I'm Susanette. I just have really important phone calls sometimes. Sometimes I just have to get up in the middle of the performance and leave. It's just how can you expect someone to sit for a full three minutes without having to get up and leave if they need to? I can't wait three minutes. That's too long. How can anyone wait three minutes? Ugh. Hey, the name's Chef. So sometimes when I'm at my daughter's viola concert, sometimes I just want to get a picture. But I'm not sitting in a good seat, so sometimes I just have to get up and stand in front of somebody so I can get that perfect shot. And when they when they look at me like, What, what are you guys doing? Get out of the way. I'm like, Hey, hey, it's my daughter playing viola. I want to get a good picture, so just, just chill. Just, just chill. And they're like, but I'm trying to watch my son. And I'm like, it doesn't matter. I'm more important than you. 
I'm more important. So, I am the king of everything, I've decided. I'm a very busy king. I have lots of responsibilities. So if I go to my son's concert, and after I've watched them, I've already sat there for 10 or 15 minutes. I have a lot to do, I better get going. I'm not gonna stay for the rest of the concert. That's another 30 minutes. I'm a busy king. I am the king of everything I've decided. And I don't have time to watch other parents' children's play. I'm the king of everything I've decided. Hi, I'm June. I need to check Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok. There's a lot of things I need to be checking. If I don't check them, then I'm not gonna get those messages. I'm not gonna see those posts. I'm not gonna be able to tweet out what I'm doing. So I can't take five minutes and not check my phone. I am someone who likes to be connected. I wouldn't put down my phone for anything. Anything. Hi, so my name's Coral. Um, I, I just like to talk. I just like to talk. Sometimes I like to whisper, and I'll whisper really loud. I like to whisper really loud. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to talk to my friends. Why do I go to something where I have to sit there and be quiet? If I go to the movie theater, I want to make jokes. If I'm at a concert, I want to make jokes. Why can't I? Why is that such a big problem? I'm not hurting anyone. I'm not hurting anyone at all. I just, I, I think it's fun to talk and to whisper and to laugh. Why can't I do that? Is that really that big of a deal? Is it really?